Would you enter an enclosed space if you knew there was a madman there with a gun waiting to kill you? No, of course you wouldn't. Can you explain then why more than 200 of your fellow mariners each year enter enclosed spaces and die there, knowing that toxic gases may be present and that the atmosphere may not contain enough oxygen to support life? Both these conditions are just as lethal as a madman with a gun. You may not find an easy explanation, but we can. They invariably ignore the strict safety procedures which control such entries. Because enclosed spaces are dangerous spaces, these control procedures recognize only two types of entry. Entry for operational reasons, whether pre-planned or incidental, and emergency entry, when a life may be threatened. It is worth repeating. Enclosed spaces are dangerous spaces. The most common areas on board ship are peak tanks, double bottom tanks, coffer dams, duct keels, fuel, and ballast tanks, cargo spaces, and the spaces adjacent to them. So what should you do if the need arises to enter an enclosed space? What you must never do is simple. You must never enter an enclosed space on your own and without an entry permit and without informing someone of your intent. You must never do this. Even if you're trying to save someone's life, you too could die in the attempt. What you must do is follow the safety measures in force on your ship. First, you must inform the mate or the relevant head of department of your need to enter an enclosed space. He, in turn, will consult the master before a permit is issued. They will give you a special permit to enter and a card listing all the necessary precautions which must be taken before entry. They will also give you a checklist to tick off so that nothing is left to memory or chance. The next step is to open the enclosed space carefully, anticipating pressure or vapour surges. Then, begin ventilation of the space as soon as possible. If you have one, an air mover can speed up the process. The mate then checks that all test equipment and safety gear are taken to the entry point. The standby breathing apparatus, harnesses, lifelines, lights and other safety gear must be ready for use. The mate now double checks that the enclosed space has been ventilated long enough to ensure that entry is safe. No flammable or toxic gases should be present and the oxygen level must be normal. These checks are made at both openings of the enclosed space with the probe well inside the space. Then a copy of the entry permit is posted near the entrance to show that an authorised entry is in progress. The items on the checklist are verified again and a system of communication is arranged and tested.
The person entering should take handheld measuring instruments and an emergency air supply for added safety. Now that all the safety checks have been completed, the mate allows the entry to take place. The mate remains at the entrance to supervise the process, and a support team should be ready in the vicinity in the event of an emergency. Hello, I've got your radar on. Everything's okay, yeah? The mate tests the communication system again and informs the master that an entry is underway. Yeah, that's uh, Edgar in the uh, half peak now at uh, uh, 10. 1037. I'll uh, give you a call when he's out. Meanwhile, the ventilation must continue. That is the way to tackle safely an operational entry into an enclosed space. Let's recap on the rules that must be followed. Remember that enclosed spaces are dangerous spaces. Obtain an entry permit. Uh, BA. Alba. Always ventilate the compartment prior to entry and test the atmosphere to ensure that it is safe to enter. Ensure that the standby emergency equipment works properly. Have a responsible person standing by at the point of entry. And finally, Make sure all communications work properly. Everything's okay, yeah? Okay, that's fine, thanks. Right, you're okay. Hello, John. Hello, John, how are you doing? There may be times when an emergency could arise during entry. In this case, the procedure to enter is controlled by different rules. Here, for instance, the responsible person at the entry point has tried to communicate with the man inside the tank. As he could get no reply, the assumption must be that an emergency has arisen. The man's life may be in danger. He does not go in to investigate. He raises the alarm and requests immediate assistance from the backup team. The ship's emergency response procedures swing into action. An emergency entry into enclosed spaces is now taking place. Two seafarers don self-contained breathing apparatus and check again that the cylinders are full, that the pressure is held in the system, that the whistle works and that an adequate seal exists between the mask and the face. These preparations are supervised and assisted by another person. These procedures must be practiced regularly as part of the ship's safety drill. When the men are ready to enter, the officer at the entry point briefs them as to the situation and how they may find the victim as quickly as possible. I've lost radio contact with him, so we're going to have to effect a rescue. I don't know if, if he's hurt or what. In this case, uh, a supply line to an electric lamp well, may guide them to his location. Follow the lead lamp down. He should be at the end of that. Even though this is an emergency entry, it must be done in a controlled manner. Some manholes allow little extra room for the BA sets, so assistance is needed at the entry points. Once entry is made, 
the officer of the watch is notified. A channel of communication is open at all times, but the two rescuers must be allowed to concentrate on their search. Fortunately, in this case, the cause of the emergency was a slip and concussion. The points to remember for an emergency entry are if you suspect that something is not right, do not go in to investigate. Raise the alarm and call for immediate assistance. At least two sets of breathing apparatus should be ready for entry. The testing and donning of these must be practiced frequently by all ship's personnel. And finally, Brief the backup team clearly. Once the injured man has been rescued, the emergency team can be stood down. Keep to the safety rules controlling entry into enclosed spaces. Stay alive and sweet dreams. <laughs>